Hey there, Mr. J. I just wanted to show you the alpha stamping thing real quick in substance. Uh, my apologies if you hear 3D printer noises in the background. So you might recognize this from the egghead thing, <laughs> from Leah's egghead. So this is just a simple, um, you know, just a fill layer for the color. And I have a just a paint layer here for, you know, drawing on. Uh, so for the stamping height stuff, um, what you would do is make another normal layer, not a, not a fill layer. Uh, so you were on the right track there. And you would go to your alphas. So you were fine there. So we'll go to alphas. Now you'll notice on the, um, for the paintbrush, if you scroll down, you'll see that there's an alpha thing here. And that defines the shape of your brush. And stupidly enough, okay, this says shape. Shape is actually the name of this default brush. So if you type in shape here, you'll see that it, it shows up here. It should be called default probably, not shape. That sounds, shape is just stupid, right? So if you, if and when you need to get back to your default brush, it's called shape. But for now, we'll just close that out. And we'll use the Star Trek-y thing that we were doing before. So you'll notice if I just click on this, it populates it into the alpha section for the brush. And now you get this Star Trek-y thing here. And, uh, you know, we can, we can change the size of it and everything. So you can do that here, change the size of it. Or if you hold down control, I think um, control and then right dragging up and down on the, yeah, right dragging does the size and left dragging will do rotation. But you have to go up and down, not left and right, which is of course stupid. Um, but, you know, it is substance. So we can make a bigger size. And if I were to just click on this now, we just get a paint layer, which is not what we want. So if we scroll down further, we have all these default channels, right? We want to deselect all of them but height. But now if we click on it, it's not going to do anything, right? Because our height is flat. So we want to just make the height something less. Now if I click on it, bink, it's stamped in. So I'm not sure why you had to move it, because you can move it to do this. But you should be able to just stamp away, you know, just by clicking. So I'm not entirely sure why yours wasn't doing that. So that's how you do it. And I, I kind of think I couldn't really see because your, your head was in the way, but I think that's the way you were trying to do it, but it wasn't working because you had to drag for some reason. I'm not sure why. You should be able to just click it and have it go on there. And you can, you know, make it hold down control, make it rotate it, make it bigger, stamp it on. Um, you'll note though, since it is a paint layer, not a fill layer, you can't adjust anything after the fact. So if I adjust the height, it doesn't do anything unless I then stamp something else. And now this will go up instead of down. The alternative way to do this would be with a fill layer and then a mask, I think. So a little, little more complex. So you would do a, a fill layer with nothing but height, right? So you deselect everything but the height and make the height go down. So now anything that's in this layer is gonna have a lower height, right? And then we would add a black mask. Okay, and then right-clicking in the mask, we would then add our paint layer, so add paint. So it gets a little more complex, but so now we should be able to, again, click on our alpha to make this in the alpha 
and I'm going to make this bigger. And I should be able to click it and it does the same effect, right? Looks more complex. The plus side of that is that if I click back on the material here, I do have this height that I can then adjust after the fact. Um, or, and I can even, if I wanted to, I can add in color information, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of nicer to do it this way. It's just more complex. So it's a fill layer, then a black mask, and under the black mask, a paint layer, and then you do the normal thing. I know, complex, but that's substance for you. Uh, hopefully this helped. I, I probably just confused the hell out of you, but <laughs> hopefully it helped. Uh, I'll talk to you later, friend. Bye. Hi. Um, if you liked this video, then maybe you could support the channel on Patreon. That would be really cool. That's it. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.